Okay, so here we are, final day. Um, uh, just packed up, ready to leave uh, Moshi um, and head to Nairobi to get our flights back to, well, I was going to say London via Paris, kind of the cock up by the uh, organisers here. Um, as you can hear, my voice is actually a lot better now. The antibiotics, these guys are giving me a really kicked in. Um, I'm coughing far less now, uh, rehydrated. Uh, feeling, well, I'd say probably about 80% um, to normal. Um, still got a bit of a hacky cough uh, when it does happen um, and a bit of a dry throat, but otherwise <clears throat> uh, a lot better, a lot, lot better compared to the way I was when I first got here on New Year's Eve, death warmed up. Um, the weather down here is absolutely beautiful uh, compared to what it was on the mountain. Um, it's just ironic that we had probably the worst weather in the last sort of uh, couple of weeks, two, three weeks, in fact, just constant rain up there. Um, talking to a couple of guys that were going up today, or yesterday rather, uh, and they were saying the weather's now being told that it's, it's gonna actually be really good up there. So there you go, you can't win. Even the guys that made it to the very top, summited um, five out of our eight party that got to the top, uh, literally did it in blizzard conditions. It was white out, minus 25 winds uh, at degrees and uh, wind shear that basically burnt their faces. They all came down with their faces quite burnt, um, bright red um, and, and you know quite pussy in places where they had literally broken the skin. Um, so it was actually brutal. I think that's no other word for it, brutal, the way that it was up there for those guys and absolutely hats off to them for doing it. This is not something I think anyone should take lightly in doing. Something that is worth trying to do. Um, Getting a degree of fitness is very, very important. Uh, going slowly is very important. I mean, as I said, we had um, five out of our group of eight got to the top. The Alzheimer's charity group, who was a bit much bigger group, there were 34 of them, only three made it. In fact, most of them started falling off at the first after the first camp, and then the second camp, they, they barely got up there. Um, a lot of it was to do with the fact they were going a bit too fast. They really used to hack off really fast before we did. Um, I don't think their guides and porters were as good as ours. Ours are really good, they really helped. And I think we had a much better team spirit than they did. Maybe there was a too big a team, but we helped each other up and so on. Uh, as I say, there was only myself and the two other people, so three of us who didn't actually summit. Um, and uh, in my case, it was just health. The others, it was just exhaustion um, that did it. It's been an amazing experience. Obviously, I have disappointments um, and you know what ifs, particularly if, uh, had that, had that chest infection, i fairly confident I could have maybe, if not somebody had got to base camp um, and had an option there. But anyway, the way things have worked out, um, especially on my descent, I'm just glad that I got back down alive again. Um, there have been some fatalities in the last few days as well, which is not uh, not good. Um, that's amongst porters and amongst uh, climbers as well. Um, and so, you know, this is, is quite serious. You know, people do actually try and people do die. Um, and so just to get off on the mountain, off the mountain, back down safely is a, a massive, massive plus and a, a big thank you to God for helping do that. Um, would I do it again? Probably not, I think, at my age. I think um, from what I've seen, I think it's something that maybe uh, doing in your, in your 30s, 40s, great. Um, you know, maybe uh, and, and with a high degree of fitness and also at a time of year when you're not susceptible to illnesses. But all in all, it's been uh, quite amazing. I've certainly enjoyed it. Also got to see a bit of Africa yesterday uh, because we had a great chance to sort of go and relax. Like it was a bit of a, they call it a hot spring, but it was just a watering hole where people were able to go and bathe and soak. Um, we went through a lot of little villages, saw a lot of people, see how other people live. Um, you know, the other side of Africa, outside of a city. Um, so it's been great. Now, I mean, as uh, always, I'm just aching to get home, just see the family. Big hugs for everyone and uh, also get back to my own bed. So speak to you soon. Bye.